What's up, it's your boy, Modern Ninja the Nerd, and this is the 15 Days of Contentness. Today is day 6 of uploading until Chris Kringle makes those bells jingle. Tune in and subscribe to join the Ninja fam. Today's video will be talking about the newest Yu Yu Hakusho that appeared on Netflix. This is going to be how I felt about it, how accurate it is compared to the manga and the anime, and if I would watch it again. But before we dive in, this has spoilers for the Yu Yu Hakusho series on Netflix. If you are interested in watching that, like this video and come back to it afterwards to give your opinions on it, on it or whatnot. But uh, in the meantime, before we dive in, play my intro real quick. Monsters. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me get a key horizon when I'm bitten late and demonstrating. Kind of vain and simulated. We ain't even saying I'm a fucking best. Better get your best. Nigga, come on, me a press. Swear the truth, bless. All up in your chest. Kill you with my sword. Guess I gotta clean my mess. The fact that you niggas see me playing. It's only natural. I'm super just saying, saying. Alright, so a little backstory. Yu Yu Hakusho is a favorite of mine. Back in the days where I first started watching anime like Dragon Ball. Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, Slam Dunk. I started watching the older anime before kind of diving into the more mainstream, newer-esque anime. So Yu Yu Hakusho right off the bat was a favorite of mine. I liked how hands is like the main focus for the most part and like powers is what you can add to the hands. I love that. Yusuke is that dude that he'll punch anybody, literally toddlers, girls grandmas he is him it doesn't matter who wants to smoke he'll be ready to deliver that to you same day delivery yusuke is a goon and i love his character now on to how my opinion on the show as a whole is the show moves incredibly fast and i know the whole shtick with shows trying to adapt is weird sometimes but this spanned five episodes and they basically wrapped up the show to season two episode 52 or at least a lot of aspects of something around that. Way too fast for me to appreciate some of the moments, but they are legendary in the show. Now, that's a small gripe I have starting off. Is that super huge? No. I still thoroughly enjoyed the show. All of the actors seem like their characters in the anime except for Hiei. That dude looked a little bit goofy. And I will say, the way the story doesn't exactly follow the anime or manga, I don't really like that, but again, these are a few of my only gripes with it. Um, everyone for the most part looks and acts like their anime counterpart. A shock I was hit with was the fight choreography. I wasn't expecting the martial arts in this to be top tier, but to my surprise it was. The battle between Yusuke and most of the people he fought had me on the edge of my seat. Every big blow had me making the Eli face. The CGI and the fights weren't bad either. In some Netflix shows, CGI is questionable, but the CGI here was pretty good and I didn't feel like I was watching a YouTube edited film. Even after not liking how the story was told and what direction they decided to go in, I still found myself immersed in the world and following the story, ultimately getting invested. And again, oh my god, the fight scenes were crispy in my opinion. The acting was great, I mean, I can't speak Japanese fluently, but from the past years of me learning Japanese, I will say it seemed solid and it had me gripped. Their delivery of their words and how they expressed emotion had me feeling it as well. With more success like this in One Piece, I will say Netflix and live actions of anime are starting to grow on me a bit. I'm still quite skeptical, but they are indeed growing on me. Like this new Avatar The Last Airbender live action. The other one by M. Night Shyamalan was horrible. I, I'm not. That was ass. So, I hope that this uh, Avatar The Last Airbender one has good CGI, great story, and it feels like Avatar The Last Airbender. I don't want them to go in a different direction. I just want someone to get the source material and for once just go through with it. There's nothing wrong with telling a different story sometimes, but why not tell the story that the audience wants to hear and see, you know? I don't know why everybody wants to take a new spin to things that we just want, right? Now, with all things considered, 
the characters, the actors, the story and graphics considered, I'll rate this a 6 out of 10. Now before you grab your pitchforks and say, oh Modern Ninja you're being too rough on it, you're being too hard, this, that and the other, I'm doing this only because of the story going in different directions. If it wasn't for that, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. At the end, Yusuke, Yusuke said Spirit Gun one time, and that was at the end. And that irked me a bit. And also, the ending had me going crazy. So I, I'm going to take away two points from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that and, like, bro, I, I again, I already warned you for spoilers. So Togoro dies with a spirit gun. And, like, it was too easy. It was way too easy. Like, if I have never seen Yu Yu Hakusho, this would be perfect. But I'm only giving it this rating because i know the source material read the manga watched the anime and like this nah nah this it doesn't sit right with me so like yeah now um would i watch this again hell yeah i feel like i missed some things so i definitely gotta watch this again see all the easter eggs and all the callbacks or whatnot another thing that i want to hit on was uh, the actor for karama was beautiful they chose the right guy for that. In some scenes, I was convinced Karama was actually played by a woman. So they really they really nailed Bro's character. I'm not going to lie to you. So like uh, all in all, 6 out of 10. That's just my messed up scale. Tell me if you agree in the comments below. What do you like or dislike about this show? Also, don't forget to subscribe to your boy as I upload every day until Rudolph takes a dump on your lawn this Christmas. So tune in and join the Ninja fam. The goal is 1K before the new year comes in. So let's hit that goal together. It's been your boy, Modern Ninja the Nerd. See you guys in the next arc.